Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mama. Happy birthday to you. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? I think I mommy should. Hey, don't unwrap it. That's mom's job. It's okay. I can do no, it. no, no, no. Your birthday. Here. Give me that. Oh, I'm hot right now. Happy birthday, hon. Thanks. Um, which one should I do first, or it doesn't matter? I think you should probably do the big one first. Why? Why not? You might be able to help Mama with the little one. Okay, let's see. Just be careful, it is fragile. I'm guessing glasses. <laughs> Your guess is glasses? Dutch oven. Another thing that was on my list. Yes, I listen. Ah, yes. I always wanted a Dutch oven. What is it? Use it to cook things. What is it? I know, not the most exciting thing in the world, but that's what I wanted. Something you asked for. So, like, yeah, you know, I made it there. My guess was wrong, so you really did surprise me. Ah. Well, after your mom stole my idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's another box inside. Mm -hmm. Th that came inside of a box. So that's three boxes yeah. deep now. It's probably very fragile, so. Why is there a box on your box and your box? Not sure, bud. I just want to keep it extra safe. Is there a box inside of that? Yes. I did not do this, hon. I swear, I did not do this. There's a box inside. <laughs> so that's four boxes deep. You gotta wait, bud. There's a box and a box and a box. There's a box. <laughs> the box that came in is inside of my office, too. <laughs> I just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, this isn't even a full box. This is just the lid. Oh. <laughs> that's a heavy lid. I don't even know what's so special about Dutch ovens. You asked for one. I know, well, because a lot of recipes want them, but it's like, why is this so special? I mean, it's heavy. Lift it up. It's real heavy. In ceramic. Oh, it is. Yeah. And there's another one that goes with it. Yay, I'm so excited. Let's open the next one. Woohoo! A new necklace <laughs> to replace my one I got forever ago. Well, that would have been a good idea. <laughs> Save it for another time. The funny thing is, is he helped me wrap it and now he's unwrapping it. What is it? Oh! Oh! An Apple Watch. You got me a new one. Yeah, you needed a new one. An Apple one has, Watch. Your current one has glue <laughs> all over it. Yeah, we got you a new Apple Watch. Hey, those are expensive. Not as bad as you'd think. Okay. Avery! <gasps> Hi! I'm getting ice cream! Where it says, can we go? And then I had a roller coaster! Woo! I swear to see somebody's going to be. Oh, oh.
I got one out of the bath. Say hi, Porter. He's brushing his teeth. Hi. And Grayson's in the bath, so I won't show him to you. You got lots to say? So it's the next day. It's actually like the next day in the evening. I had such a busy birthday. I honestly didn't have time, much time to pull out the camera other than like the little clips I took. And even then I didn't even take that many clips. But yes, yesterday was my birthday. I turned 31, so I'm now 31 years old, which is crazy to believe because I was talking to Anthony about it last night. I was like, I feel like I'm still like in my mid twenties. I don't feel 31, like that just feels so old. And I feel like 30, everybody makes a big deal out of and it's like 30 flirty and fun. And it's like exciting and new, but then 31 feels like heavy. <laughs> like I'm in my thirties now. I don't know, it just, it feels weird. Anyway, had a great birthday. You started it off with presents because we knew we were going to be busy the rest of the day, so that's like the only time we could fit it in. And the boys loved helping me unwrap the presents. If you didn't couldn't tell from the clips, Anthony got me a Dutch oven, which I've been asking for because I'll find recipes online and it'll call for a and Dutch oven. And I'm like, I don't have that. that. Yeah, he got me that, which I was super ex excited for. And then he also got me a new Apple Watch. I'm wearing it right now. Story with my old Apple Watch, because I don't think I vlogged about it. So like one day, I don't even know what I was doing. I, I was just stretching my arms. And then all of a sudden I look at my watch and the whole screen is like dangling off. Like it's held together by like a wire or two and that's it but the crazy thing is is the screen was still working but it was like falling off so I was like freaking out like oh no what do I do so I just was like I'll just super glue it back on so I went to our junk drawer and got super glue and just like super glued the heck out of it and like stuck it on and it continued to work like the screen worked. it still works right now the only problem is when I super glued it back on I didn't do it that good of a job because I was like freaked out and panicked so the screen is on but it's like crooked <laughs> so every time i looked at my watch it was like a crooked screen and then also there's like crack dried um super glue left on it that i hadn't gotten off yet so it was just looking a little banged up i've had that watch for a long long time i mentioned it to read anthony it, didn't, it. okay one second didn't think that he would get me an apple watch and he did and so i was shocked by that so love it he got me the bigger screen one i love having the bigger screen I was telling Anthony about this yesterday. When I first got an Apple Watch, it was like a hand-me-down from my mom. It was like her old one that she didn't want anymore. And I was like, I'm not going to use this. I never wear watches. Like, I'll try it out. But I really don't think, like, I'm going to be that into it. And then I started wearing it. And now I don't go a single day without it. In fact, I have such a watch tan right now. Now that we're in the summer, it's so bad. Like, you can totally tell where I've been wearing my watch. Because it's, like, pale compared to the rest of my skin. Because I tan very, very easily but I just love it I I find myself always looking at what's the weather right now what's the temperature what's the time anytime I get like a notification on my phone it goes right to my watch so yes I'm so excited I got my brand new watch so thank you Anthony for my gifts I absolutely love them and then after that we a little later on in that day my sister Allison actually ended up coming over with her daughter Ivy and we all went and got ice cream at our ice cream shop and there was this local ice cream shop and they have a play place inside so like kids can go and play at the indoor play place and then you can get ice cream as well and I have a million gift cards to this play place because my grandparents just load us up on ice cream gift cards because they know we love ice cream so it was all free which was awesome so each of the kids got they always get vanilla ice cream with sprinkles they had a little like baby area that was like roped off so only babies could get in so we just put the two babies in there and Avery just like sat and watched everybody in awe like was amazed at all the kids by the end everybody was melting down so we headed back home and then my brother Peter and his um, roommate Leanne actually ended up coming over and babysitting the kids for us usually my mom does this and like lets us go out on a date night to celebrate my birthday but my parents are out of town we're still watching Berkeley this is like a week and a half now of watching Berkeley, but they come home in a couple days. And so my mom felt super bad that she couldn't do that. So I guess she called my brother and like guilt tripped him into 
coming to babysit our kids. So I don't know if he was thrilled about that, but it was super nice that he did. And so they came and watched the kids put them down to bed. And Anthony and I went out to eat. We went out to BJ's, my favorite. A pizookie is basically a really warm, huge cookie. And then ice cream on top and then it also has different um toppings as well we got a new pizuki they were like it was like a month old that they had have had it out usually i get the oreo one i still think it's the best but we tried this new one it was like party pizuki or something so it had a massive amount of sprinkles and had ice cream cone oh, on top I see. So it was good, but not as good as the Oreo, but still good. So we did that. And then we ended up going to just our downtown area after that and walked around because I just, I love going walking. I've really found a love for it. Um, ever since we started uh, watching Berkeley for my parents, I have to take her out every night on walks. And I found that I actually really enjoy doing that. So I said, that's what I want to do for my birthday. So that's what we did. We just walked around and um, had a great time and then came back home and that was it. So it was a great birthday for a Monday. You know, what can you do? The real birthday celebration is next week, less than a week now. We head to New York and go spend a week in New York City. So I'm super excited for that. I just brought up the suitcases today. We have a wild and busy week this week um, leading up to that. And I'm like stressed out. I can't even think about it. I have like work stuff to do we have like this presentation on friday we're going up to toledo to see um anthony's parents because we're doing some tree house that they booked my sister's having a housewarming party in akron like we're f and oh and we have father's day as well so we're fitting all these things in plus i have to like deep clean my house because my parents are coming to stay here the whole week to watch our kids yeah i'm just I don't know if I can get it all done. It's a little stressful. Today we had PT for Avery. Um, the PT was really excited with how strong Avery's getting. She's still not moving, but we're hopeful it'll happen soon. We're working on it. Um, so that was good. And we went to the library today because the we signed up for the summer reading challenge and the kids have been loving it. Um, they do it at all the local libraries. I'm sure they do it at a library near you. I did it all the time as a kid, and I absolutely loved it as a kid. And so this is the first year I did it with um, my kids because I thought you had to be school age to do it, but turns out it's anybody all the way from zero. So Avery's doing it all the way up to adults. Adults can do it as well, and they, like, have different prizes. Yeah, you just have to read 15 minutes a day every day, and then every five days you get a prize. So today we had been reading for five days, so we went to the library to get our prizes. Grayson got a slinky. Porter got a shaker egg. Avery got a, a crinkle book. And I got a, a coupon for Anthony to go to the Renaissance Festival. So, but they had like tons of stuff, reusable bags, pencils, pens, a magnet. Like they had a lot of like knickknacky stuff, but still cute. We had a good time doing that. And then we went to the park and then came back here and Avery napped and played outside for a little bit. Now we're doing bath and bed. I'm about to put the kids to bed. And then after that, I got to take the dog on a walk. And then I got to clean, clean, clean the house. <laughs> Every second I get, I need to clean because I don't have a lot of time this week. So I will try to pull out the camera here and there. Not sure what I will vlog, but I will try and vlog what I can. And yeah, it was it was a great birthday. So uh, June 10th is the best day of the whole year. I always say, um, Sting said it was on a Monday. Last year was the best because I turned 30. It was on a Saturday and Anthony like did this whole scavenger hunt. It was a whole day of like birthday celebrations it was awesome so hard to top that but um i just keep looking forward to in new york in a week so very excited for that which i hope to vlog that as well hope 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 i actually went and bought a like external battery pack so anyway bye